I'm with Hunter Grindle at Hybrid Fitness, and we also have one of his trainers, Beth Baracco, visiting us today, and she's going to be helping us out. So, Hunter, you have a way that people can continue burning calories after their workout? Yeah, and you're always going to burn some calories after your workout, right? Because your metabolism's up, like your muscles are working hard, and they need some time to cool down. But there are ways that you can extend that period, so you can actually burn more calories for a longer period of time if you do the right things during your workout. They call this the afterburn effect. So yeah, yeah, it's great. So what I wanna show you guys today is exactly how to get that so you can get the best bang for your buck when you're doing your exercise. All right, let's hear it. Yeah, so f first of all, right, there's different ways. There's strength training, there's cardio. Um, no matter what, if you're not moving, right, moving is better than not doing anything. But what we recommend is doing these types of workouts with strength training movements, right? Things that are stressing your muscles versus more cardiovascular movements that are gonna be more pounding on your joints. This is really gonna help you, you know, develop that strong body that you want that's gonna help you be healthy for a long, long time. That sounds nice. Yeah, so <laughs> here's how we're gonna do this. I'm gonna give Beth four movements that we're gonna go through that are all gonna really focus on strengthening almost every muscle in her body. These are full body movements and that's very, important because if you're doing you know we call this a bicep curl right you know you're just working this one muscle but if you do something like a squat you can notice my core is working my legs are every muscle right. in my body is working and that's super important so I'm gonna give you those four movements we want to pretty much reduce the amount of rest in between each exercise you're gonna go straight from one to the other and then at the end once we finish all four you're gonna have rest so we'll uh, we'll simplify that for a little for you for a little bit but we're just gonna start out here First, Beth, with a air squat. So, Beth, I'm going to have you put your feet about shoulder width apart. Very good. And I want you to sit back in your hips like you're sitting down in a chair. Very good. And then stand right up. Inhale down. Exhale up. Now, notice how her back is staying straight. I know it's hard to see with this camera angle. Her chest is forward. And so this is going to work her quads. It's going to work her butt. And it's going to help work on her upper body posture. So I'm going to have Beth do this for 60 seconds straight. <laughs> so let's say fast forward 60 seconds. So she did her squats. Now we're going to take her into what we call a bent over row. So go ahead, bend your knees a little bit, Beth, and hinge forward in your hips. And she's still going to keep her back straight here. Now what she's going to do is keep her arms tight to her body and squeeze those shoulder blades. So if somebody was going to put their finger right here behind their back, I could feel her shoulder blades pinching on, on uh, my finger. I can feel the soreness happening. Oh, uh, it's already uh. happened. So again, if you want to ever make this harder, if this feels too easy for you, grab some soup cans, grab some dumbbells around the house, you're going to get some more resistance. So do that for 60 seconds. All right, next up, what we're going to do is a glute bridge. So in the glute bridge, we're going to lay right down. Good. What I'm going to have Beth do, now this is really going to target the glutes, the hamstrings, the lower back. Oh, okay. the good stuff. Yeah, she's going to point her toes up to the sky. There we go. And now go ahead. She's going to lift her hips up and make a bridge. So from her knees all the way down to her chest is going to be straight. And at the top, I want you to squeeze your butt together. Squeeze. Imagine like there's a, a playing card there. You don't want to let that playing card Ooh. fall out. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's, hey, it, it works. Trust me. <laughs> All right, so we're going to do that for 60 seconds. She's feeling the lower body, the muscles working. I'm going to make you get down there one more time. So now we're going to go into a push-up. So we're hitting our upper body, our chest, our shoulders. So again, there's a few options. You can bring your knees to the ground if you need to make it harder. You like can that. also have your hands up maybe on a wall or on a bench or a chair if you have one. But she's going to keep her elbows in tight. Good. And exhale right up. Her back is staying straight. Notice how those elbows aren't flaring out, right? That's going to protect your shoulders and work the muscles that we want to work. So you're going to inhale down and exhale up. She's going to do that for 60 seconds. And once she finishes with that, then we're going to give you 60 seconds to rest. I'd like you to repeat that for four rounds. And by the end of that, look, she's breaking a little sweat out. Right? Yeah. You're going to be burned out. You're going to get that afterburn effect. Try and do that. And each time you can make a little bit harder. Go for five rounds or maybe you know, add some weight. Do whatever you need to do to challenge yourself. You're going to break down muscle, and then you're, if you take that super shake that we mentioned the previous week, <laughs> yep. then it's going to help you recover. And then when that happens, you're going to build up muscle, which is ultimately going to increase your metabolism. Oh, that so. sounds good. All right. Well, thank you, Hunter. A lot and of thank you even more, Beth. We appreciate it. And everyone at home, thank you for watching. And be sure to stay tuned because there's more of Midcoast Today coming right up.